Hello, I'm Michael Bruin here at the Hollywood Diner in Rockville. Grab a cup, settle back for the next 30 minutes, and find out what's brewing right here in Montgomery County. Welcome to What's Brewing, I'm Mike Bruin. We have a number of guests in our show today, but we start with the seniors and the issues that come with them. And I'm really pleased to have with me the program manager for the Senior Health Promotion, and it's Sean Brennan. And Sean, welcome to What's Brewing. Thanks, nice to be here. We have probably in Montgomery County one of the most articulate, politically active, vivacious senior community anywhere in the country and you're right in the middle of all of that so tell us a little bit about what you do well um, as you know I'm involved in health promotion but I approach it a little bit different than maybe some some people in this position in other counties are able to um, because we've got so many people who are active are engaged and are concerned about their neighbors basically we've got all kinds of groups working on different parts of senior health and wellness and I know you, we also do a senior show, and you've been on that a lot, number of times, too. We really have an active senior community, both as volunteers, uh, working quite late into, into their ages and their professional careers, particularly the science and the medical community here in Montgomery County. But an active life is really what you're about. That's your, your whole thing is to be as active and as, as functional as possible for as long as possible. Definitely, and that's one of the fun things about health promotion. I mean, folks who are concerned about health promotion, they can get into, you know, how are we going to prevent people from falling? How are we going to prevent hypothermia, getting too hot in the summer, uh, making sure people have their shots? But what I tend to focus on are what I think are the two most important things for older adults. Staying engaged with other people and keep in moving. Move your body one way or the other. Just keep in motion. For the health benefits. For the health benefits, yeah. Right. I mean, folks who don't stay engaged with other people have a hard time staying sharp cognitively. Right. And most older adults really care about that, keeping sharp. And then so many health conditions are attributed to inactivity. So if you can just find something that's fun, have a reason to get up and move. It can be dancing, it can be walking, it can be Zumba. I mean, there's lots of things that are evolving all the time as choices for people. And, and there's a wide range. I mean, Americans now are living so that we have different age groups. So the 55 to 65 group is different than the 85 to 95 group. Well, so the issues probably are different. It's, it's very hard to generalize because you'll find a 60-year-old who may be fairly disabled and not able to do what they used to be able to do, whereas you could find an 85-year-old well, who's quite true. fit. That's true. So we're finding it harder to go by the ages and more needing to look at just what each individual person's what they're needs doing. are. And yeah. what are some of the things that, that you're promoting? For example, well, for example, um, one of the exciting programs that I'm involved with is called Bone Builders, and it was designed to be a program to help alleviate osteoporosis, to keep people um, maintaining their bone density and even increasing it somewhat through lifting weights. Right. And historically, people, especially women, were not seen as folks who should be lifting weights. And as you get older, you know, in the old days, it was like, oh, take it easy. Uh, we have these folks lifting five-pound weights sometimes, uh, having weights on their legs and lifting them. And they're finding that they feel so much better, that there are changes in their bone density that can be measured using a DEXA scan. Uh -huh. Some people are able to stop taking medications. Really? At times, yeah. Just by doing this exercise program? Mm -hmm. Two to three times a week, along with healthy nutrition. And you how know. do you, so do you have classes? Is that what you we do? We do, we have classes around the county. Um, they're volunteer led. Um, folks go through a training and they're supervised and they lead a class. It's quite rigid. It is specific exercises are done in each class. Right. But the leeway between people and different functioning abilities is how much weight you're lifting. So someone right. could start with a half a pound and other people could be up to five pounds. So it can be challenging wherever you are. We do these exercises very safely. And it's just so exciting to hear people say how it's changed their lives. What they can do now that they couldn't do. Walk upstairs without it hurting, for example, is a I common see. one. Because of bone density. 
building up the, the uh, muscles really is another benefit oh, I see. so that sure. when you build up your muscles you're taking pressure off your joints where do you have these classes are they around the county they're around the county and community centers uh -huh. um, we have one in a church um, so we're kind of open to to expanding but we try to keep them fairly small 15 people per class and is there a phone number where if people want more information I'd be happy to talk to folks sure um, my number is 240-777-1350 okay happy to talk to folks and if in the case where we sometimes have waiting lists I like to talk to them about where else they can be working out mm -hmm. and exercising I mean it's just huge mm -hmm. uh, some people you know can't do it by themselves they need that group environment well you were talking about social interaction part of the benefit of this isn't even just the physical part there's also that being able to be around other people definitely one of the classes that I know of they're taking a trip together oh is that right yeah <laughs> So they really have developed this strong connection. This is with or without weights, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think without. I think without. Oh, that's great. So that's that's really exciting. Now you have other things coming up. We were chatting before we started rolling cameras here, but there are some other things that are going on. Well, you know, there was the senior summit where there was people brought together to discuss, you know, what are the issues that are concerned to older adults, and one of them is falls. You know, people can be doing pretty well, but if they get a fall and they break a hip or you know, they break any yeah. number of body exactly. parts. Exactly. And, and then all of a sudden, they, they go downhill very quickly. It, it can happen. I mean, some people can rehab from that, but, but many can't. And so trying to look at all the different things that can lead to someone falling and then preventing it, for example, poor vision. Uh, people sometimes take for granted their eyesight. Don't get their checkups periodically. Right. Folks need to do that. Make sure they can see. Clean their glasses. Right. Um, well, and macular degeneration. There are all sorts of issues that I think seniors need to be particularly concerned about. Exactly. And so that puts you at a risk. If you're not seeing well, you're at a risk of falling. Sure. Um, just like if your muscles in your legs get too weak, you're at a risk of falling. If you are taking a medication that affects your balance, Correct. Um, you're at risk of falling. Correct. Um, there are a number of things. If your house is a bit too cluttered, and there are a lot of folks of all ages uh, with cluttered homes now, that's a risk. You could be falling over this box that you didn't put away or a rug that has begun switching. So this is part of the Senior Summit, this is, was one of the initiatives, was right. to do something about this? About, yeah, what can we do to help decrease falls, and so... And so that's why I came campaign. to you, so you're going to promote All these awareness? different, right, awareness number one. Be aware that it's a risk, and, and then encouraging people to stay fit, encouraging people to get screened themselves, talk to their physicians or medical provider, how am I doing, do I look like, you know, I'm at risk, you can do gait assessments, someone can watch you walk and based on how you're walking, uh -huh. uh, of course the vision test. Um, and we're just gonna have a lot of events in, in September that are targeted to helping people to understand their fall risk and how to prevent it. So you're planning that now? You're actually we're working on that now? Stages, right? mm -hmm. And you work with a number of people? Work with folks from hospitals, senior centers, nonprofit organizations, volunteers. It's a nice, uh, nice kind of eclectic group of folks who are on this project. Wonderful. That's wonderful. And I know you and I were saying too that the Senior Summit has its own web page now on the county, MontgomeryCountyMD.gov slash Senior Summit. Senior Summit, and that'll right. get people there. Exactly. And if they want to go just to our general senior site, they can go MontgomeryCountyMD.gov slash senior. And that's a different web page. So we have, we have really a number good. of things that are out there. And Montgomery County has, I think, one of the largest percentages of people over the age of 55 on the Internet. They did that study a that's few years great. ago, and I think this is a very educated community and that they really use those tools. Definitely. And more and more as, as the budget is tightening, um, being able to use the that's web a way to get it out. is a great way to get the message across without printing costs and things With like that. And, and environmentally like that. speaking, yeah, we want to minimize how much we're using our resources. <laughs> well, we're almost out of time, but I just, I think there's a great promote, you, you're doing a wonderful job and you're getting it out there and you're also on our senior show all the time. So I just, I really thank you for coming on and being on this show so we could try to get some more information out. And if people have questions, they can call you. Can you give the number again? Sure, 240-777-1350. Okay, Sean, thanks for being on. You're welcome. Don't go away guys, we'll be right back.